Today is mixed with sadness and a hint of gladness as we mourn, honor, and celebrate the life of a great person I was privileged to call daddy. My father will, my father will always be someone special in my life. When I was young, he knew everything. He could fix everything and told amazing stories. As I became an adult, I truly learned to appreciate my father for exactly what he is, a man with the generosity of spirit who gave himself to others, put himself at their disposal, and was one of the most loving people I know. My father always made you feel welcome and listened attentively to everything you had to say. He may not have been the coolest father, but in my eyes, daddy always walked on water. One afternoon, a few years ago, he invited me to accompany him to a friend's concert. Later that evening, I got ready to go in a pair of trousers and white top. In contrast to my surprise, daddy was in a suit. Why are you wearing a suit to a concert, I asked. You're meant to be casually dressed. I am casual, he replied. See, no tie. <laughs> he moved effortlessly from shanty to palace, from impoverished streets to government enclaves, from a morning greeting with a member of the household or a moment shared with a loved one to negotiating for international peace. He understood only too well that like hamsters on a wheel, most of us spend our lives running around in circles, looking, locked in our little bubbles, trying our utmost to insulate ourselves from violence, poverty, crime, or pollution. Each, if not all of these conditions, is a reality for the people that were always in the forefront of his mind. Yet somehow, the darkness of the human condition was balanced and lightened by the resolute hope lodged firmly in his heart. Make no mistake, he used to say, life is not easy. And he would urge us to appreciate everything that we had, good or bad, as someone somewhere always had it worse. I remember complaining to him once that I could not afford to buy something. Is someone shooting at you, he asked. I was confused as I didn't understand why he was asking that. Is someone shooting at you, he repeated. No, I said. Do you have a roof over your head? Yes, I said. Do you eat three times a day? Yes, I said. Then you have no problems. Stop complaining. My father always sought out and gravitated towards young people in whom he found inspiration and the renewal of hope. He believed that knowledge was power information liberating and education as the premise of progress in every society and every family. He believed that life was for the living and squeezed as much as he could out of every minute of every day while somehow also managing to be in the moment with each person he met. He sought truth and fought for peace in his mild, quiet manner and with a soft voice and steady temperament, he willed all of us to share in his stubborn optimism. So to paraphrase the words of Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I to have such a father that makes saying goodbye so hard. Rest in peace, Daddy.